or they're beautiful to look at, prized as hunting trophies and mythologized as the guardians of woodland creatures. The truth is far from a fairy tale. Environmentalists say feral deer are pushing our forest to collapse. Take a look. How bad is it? Some of our forests, you can play a game of rugby in. It's a losing battle, so um, we, can't, we can't shoot there fast enough. When we talk about, like, forest collapse, this is an example, right? So this is, this is going backwards and forwards. Mm. And how else do you describe that? Looks like a graveyard. The department has put significant effort into wild animal management um, over recent years. I think our conservation department has, has totally dropped the ball. And we need Doc to be accountable for managing our forests. We're seeing they're taking out the key species for birds, and we're seeing them totally boning out the undergrowth, the, the understory, which is really important in a forest ecosystem. How's this deer devastation? Just from up here to down here, all the way through, everything's been hammered. We want to have sustainable forests going into the future, and we're not seeing the, the deer control that we need to ensure the public that this is going to be a rea reality, that we can protect our forests. Ben, do we have a feral deer problem here in New Zealand? Yeah, we do in many places. Uh, so it's not everywhere. It's really important to say that, that it's so variable across the landscape. Uh, and I think in many places, deer numbers have increased over time uh, and they've just got past some tipping point where the combined effort of the recreational hunting, the commercial hunting and uh, activity by agencies, whether that's the department or, or local government, uh, isn't really keeping in check with that increasing population.